I mean, it was good to come home to Dez, like, but now just knowing that I'm coming home to Dez and Pom Pom, I just get so excited about it because Aww. first thing I come in and be like, you know, I'll ask her how her day was and I'll ask about Pom Pom, how did Pom Pom do it? Just <laughs> every day. Yeah. Just being that family man coming home, checking in on them. So Aww. it's like, you know, that's, that's a good part too. Yeah. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy B to the Cis Naive. And it's your girl D to the S Naive. No. What would I say? Oh. D to the Cis Naive. Oh, D to the Cis Naive. <laughs> Where I get Cis Naive from is obviously because of our last name, Sudden. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Dang, I'm slow. I didn't I never realized okay. that. Okay. You, 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 hey, you got a little one in you. <laughs> okay. So we are oh, going to Oh what do... no, oh no. You know, bro, you know how these videos go, Des. What? And we are back with another. You know oh how they gosh. go. And we are back with another. <sighs> Video. to be doing a Q and A. Um, I set up a Q and A box on Instagram and- You guys had some good questions. First of all, you guys had a lot of, it was a lot of questions. It was a lot. So if there, I'm gonna go back through them after this video and if there are more, then we're gonna do a part two. But yeah. we're gonna hit these today. Pretty much they're all really based around Pom Pom, the new baby that's coming. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna get into that right now. There were so many you it guys. Was so and they many were questions. so good. It was like, wow. She showed me all the questions and she was just scrolling and scrolling and yeah, scrolling and scrolling so and scrolling. So we appreciate y'all support on that. Yeah. Okay, so there actually are a ton. So this might Yeah, be we're gonna be a, we're gonna we're gonna do a part two. Um, okay, so let's just get right into it. First question is what happens no, I can't read. <laughs> What's been your go to a store for baby preparation. Oh. Which is a good question because we were just talking about this like three vlogs ago. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's no like dedicated baby stores anymore. There used to be this store called Babies Are Us that yeah. I was so excited to finally like um, shop in for my own baby. But I just realized that they're closed down. Mm -hmm. And of course there's like Target and um, like Crate and Barrel Kids and Walmart has a section. Um, like there are stores that are- Pottery that, Barn Kids. Yeah, like Pottery Barn Kids. There are stores that have sections for kids, but it just kind of sucks how there's no like super dedicated store where you can just go in, you can get cribs, you yeah. can get bottles and like, you know, if you guys went to, ever went to Babies R Us, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like Toys R Us, but it was for babies. Yeah. Yeah, um, we don't have any dedicated stores out so here. So we don't right now. I think, yeah. I mean, our go-to is probably going to be like Target um, and some online. So I've been seeing like a lot of cute online clothing boutiques for babies. Um, but we haven't purchased anything just yet. We're actually getting ready to start shopping for babies. So we're excited and of course we're gonna share once we um, release the gender to you guys yeah yeah for sure <clears throat> so as of right now we don't really have <laughs> we don't really have any because we haven't started shopping yeah so Amazon might be a go-to oh and Amazon yeah obviously for sure yeah okay is there anything you're nervous about when you give birth and then she says love you I'm a mom too Ooh. love you too girl um, and thanks for the question I think nervous about giving birth. I mean, I just think obviously the typical things like it coming out, having to come out of me <laughs> <laughs> and like, I don't know, a C-section. I've always heard like horror stories about C-sections. So those kind of scare me a little bit, but my sister had one and everything went great. Um, so I don't know, I guess with natural birth, it just, scared. I think contractions. Contractions is gonna, is what scares me the most as of right now. Yeah. What scares you? What do you think? 
I don't I don't have any fear of anything to be honest with you. I think I'm so excited about it happening and just us getting this opportunity. I don't I really just don't have any fears. Yeah. Um I don't. Yeah. I'm gonna be ready. Like I'm, a, I'm just gonna be ready to receive the baby. Like absolutely. So absolutely. I, are you I gonna cut the cord? Oh, for sure. Oh. Yeah, for sure. I'm okay. Them prices way too high. You need to cut it. <laughs> cut that cord, baby. Okay. Um. Next question. Are you having any mood swings or a sensitive nose? Um. I would say mood swings. I don't think so. No, nah, actually. Like not, I wish I had some wood to knock on, but she's been like very, very like consistent and cool during yeah. this whole pregnancy. Um, I we I don't I haven't noticed any major mood swings mm -mm. Um, or irritability or anything. Mm -hmm. So mm -mm, she yeah, hasn't like had we've any. been good. To, it, it's so funny because I always hear people are like, "Oh my god, you're gonna hate the dad," and da da da. And right. I'm like, she's she been loving your boy. You know. I think it's just. It just depends. Like that's the thing what I've noticed about pregnancy. Like everything that I heard, it's been either completely opposite for me, or it's just been like something that's new that I've never heard. Yeah. So I feel like just every pregnancy is so different because I feel like actually the the more I get mostly irritated with like other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. You know, at this time. For sure. But nothing like new. Oh, I cried over queso once. But that was one yeah, time. but that really wasn't a mood swing. So, oh, well, we got to tell y'all the story. Yeah. So this is what happened. I'm gonna tell y'all my side, cause she, she. <laughs> so anyway, we had went to Torchies and got some tacos and chips and queso. Well, yeah, he he went to go get it. And I went it to home. go get it and bring yeah. it home. So she was eating queso and she said she. This was the exact word. She handed it to me. Was like, here, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat all of this. So hold up, hold so, up. No, wait, hold okay. up. Let me hold up, hold okay. up. Okay. So, I'm gonna let you finish. so when someone's eating and then they say, here, I ain't gonna eat all this, I'm thinking she's passing it to me because she's done. No, Hold I on, hold on, wait, uh, hold on, hold on, excuse me, it, it, it's, it's my time to shine, thank you. So anyway, she handed me the queso and I have this sauce that I, that I was, that I put on my taco. So I was like, well, let me just mix it in with the queso. And I started eating it. Well, she doesn't like the sauce, so all of a sudden she got quiet. I'm like, what's wrong with you? And this, this is exactly what happened. She was sitting on the couch. I was leaving. I was like, all right, I'm about to go. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> because the queso, you ate the queso. And I really wanted to have a, I mean, I really wanted to have that queso. I mean, she just busted out Yo, crying. Yo, I was bawling. Yo, in my mind, I'm like, what just happened here? Yeah, poor Brent. And, and, and what's so funny is, <laughs> I was so, I, I don't know if I was so mad that he, no, I'll tell you why I was mad. If you've ever had Torchy's queso, <laughs> Torchy's queso does not need any, Torchy's has the best queso on this planet. I thought she was done. On the best queso on this planet, it has everything that it needs in there. Like for you to add something, you really disrespect the case. Uh, nah, but that ain't the point. That ain't the case. point. That ain't why you was crying. And then I was like, dude, I literally was offering you some. I didn't. I thought say, she was giving it to your boy. No, I did not say you could have it. I Yo. just was like, here, I'm not gonna finish it all <laughs> I, by myself. When I tell you, I don't think I've ever seen Destiny ever cry like that. He was just like, what just happened here? What just? <laughs> And um, as far as sensitive nose, I will say some smells are bothering me lately. Yeah. Like last night, like he came in and he had just ate some peanuts or something and I was like. Yeah. So I try not to wear my, like I don't even wear cologne anymore because I know yeah. cologne is something that really like triggers, triggers her. So yeah. I just I um, stopped wearing it, but. And some foods, like some days I'm just like, can you please just like eat before you come home? Please. Yeah. Like I don't want to smell anything in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, okay. <clears throat> Next question. What is your favorite part about pregnancy so far? You go first. Now she asking you. I know. All right. But... All right. Uh, man, my favorite part is just, 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 just looking at her belly. Like looking at the evolution of pom pom. Looking at how her belly just continues to grow. I told. I said I can't wait for your belly to really be out there because. She's gonna be sexy, you know what I mean? She's sexy now, and I just, and so I think that, and then also, you know, every night we read the pom-pom, um, 
I get to kiss on Destiny's belly, kiss Pom Pom goodnight. I think that's the best, the fate, the best part for me is just Aww. really interacting with Pom Pom um, even before Destiny gives birth. I, I feel like. I feel like Pom Pom is here even though, you know, the baby's not. Yeah. And so it's just kind of just getting there, just interacting with Pom Pom to be able to just like, you know, do certain things, so. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, it's exciting. I would say my favorite part is, I would have to agree actually, I think it's our bonding time when we're like reading or, um, like Brandon will just like lay his head on my stomach or something and like talk and <laughs> so I think it's that and then I think also like <clears throat> going to the doctor and seeing the ultrasounds that's fun um and just the fact that it's finally here like yeah. oh my gosh dude it was it took so long to get here so I think just the relief of the building up process being done you know, it's kind of like you build up for something for so long and it's finally here, so. And you're just taking in everything as far as, like I said, from week one to week two to week three to week four to week yeah. five. It's just con that continuous, uh, you know, evolution and continuous yeah. growth. And, and every week it's different. Like, there's been no week that's consistent. Yeah. With the same of the previous week. Like, everything is just so different every time. It's like, I, I wake up and I don't know how I'm gonna feel like today I've got a lot accomplished today I feel good I woke up with the, like the hangover feeling mm -hmm. this morning but like other than that like it's, I'm good I've eaten and you know so and, it's just weird and I would say the last part of also <laughs> is really just I mean it was good to come home to Dez like but now just knowing that I'm coming home to Dez <laughs> and Pom Pom I just get so excited <laughs> about it because Aww. first thing I come in and be like you know, I'll ask her how her day was and I'll ask about Pom Pom, how did Pom Pom do? Just <laughs> every day. Yeah, just being that family man coming home checking in on them. So Aww. it's like, you know, that's that's a good part too. Yeah, it's so sweet. Every day is like that. I'm like, aw. Okay. Ooh. What are y'all naming the baby bundle of joy? Okay, so can, all right, we not gonna we definitely ain't gonna tell y'all the name yet, but can we give a clue? No. Not even a clue? Nope. It's a surprise, you guys. We can't, wait, babe, we can't even we give call, a- We gave you Pom Pom. Pom Pom is the uh, name. But everybody know Pom Pom ain't gonna be the baby. I know, but Pom Pom is the nickname, and we'll probably call the baby that forever. No, I am. All right. Brandon doesn't want to, but I definitely am. I think it's nah. an adorable nickname, and so it's probably, I mean, it'll be Pom Pom forever, and then, you know, when the time is right, we'll, uh, cause we've had the name, fun fact, actually, We've had the name picked out for a while, for over a year, mm -hmm. like literally over a year. Yeah. Um, because whether it was boy or girl, it's a universal name, so we've always had it um, regardless of what the gender would be. Yeah. And then oh, we came yeah. up with the middle name. Did I come up yeah. with the middle name or you? You came up with the middle name. Oh, okay, name. I came up with the middle And it flows. Yeah, once we found out the gender, because we know the gender. Right. We Because we did IVF, we did something called PGT testing. Yeah. Where basically they check like the chromosomes and to see if the baby will have any type of like birth defects or things like that. Um, it's just an option for you to do for, basically it kind of like, gives you a better chance of a successful IVF transfer. Right. When so that was the reason, testing. yeah, so that was the reason that we did the testing. Mm -hmm. And with the testing, obviously because they're testing chromosome numbers, you find out the gender. So, fun fact, we know the gender, but yeah, we're not gonna share the name. We can't give a clue. No. What if it's like a, it's a clue that Next won't even- Next question. Oh. So I, hey, I tried y'all. I wanted to give y'all a clue. <laughs> Okay, um, the next one is just, she was saying she wanted to share the Duna two-in-one stroller with us. Mm. Which, I don't know, if, I think I talked with you about it. But it's basically the Duna is, it's kind of like a trendy um, two-in-one stroller right now where basically it's a stroller for the baby, but then you can like use it as a car seat as well. Okay. So you take the car seat, or you take the stroller out of the car, and it folds out to a stroller. 
Oh, nice. Which is nice and convenient, but Brandon is 6'2". No, I'm 6'3". 6'3", sorry. Oh, she just tried <laughs> to play me. Brandon is 6'3", and I've heard really um, bad things about it in regards to people with, um, like high, tall people using the stroller. So I don't think it's tall people. Are you people saying because I'm gonna have to like. Bend over to push it. Oh. Versus like it being a comfortable stroll gotcha. for you. It'll be like, kind of like when you were with pushing Bailey. And I was having it. You yeah, were having yeah, yeah. to like. Yeah, 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 okay. So that's the problem with that. Other than that, I thought it was a pretty cool idea, but I think we're gonna try something else just because I don't want to have to buy multiple things and I don't want to get something surely just because it's like trendy uh, because I feel like it's kind of a little push to kind of get it because you know it's kind of like a trendy thing right now yeah, but yeah I just don't think it'll be good for um someone tall yeah I gotta you gotta, I gotta make sure I'm comfortable pushing pom pom you yeah, feel me for sure <laughs> okay someone said are you doing a virtual baby shower for people to send you stuff for baby pom pom. Yes. So yes, for the virtual baby shower, we do plan on recording it. Mm -hmm. Now, in regards to people sending stuff for baby. Yes. We have, well, I haven't decided because here's the thing. What? I know, but in this is probably me just like being in my head. Like so many people have asked like, you know, can we send stuff for the baby? And, and do I, we have a registry for, um, you know, for you guys? But it's just that I don't want to feel like you don't want to feel like being yet yeah, you're being a burden. Yeah, like you're, I don't you're, wanna... we're not. We don't. <laughs> we not. It's no, like, they not. It's like I'm so torn between saying like, oh yeah, here's our registry, but I don't want to be like a burden. Like we're asking. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know how to I don't know how to go about it yet. I haven't decided. I'm thinking maybe we just open up the PR and then the PR. The, the PO? PO box. Sorry, PO box. Yes. And then people just send what they want. Yes. Versus doing a registry for things that we need. I mean, either way, yeah. I, but yeah, I, I mean, I think we could open up the P.O. box and have yeah. people send stuff there. That they want, though. Yeah. P things that people want to send versus saying, hey, can you get us this, you know? Aww. I just, I don't know. Aw, she's so better than me because you know what? <laughs> I would be in there. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we, yes, please. I know. By all means, be our guest. Even if y'all want to create a GoFundMe for us. <laughs> Whatever y'all got to do, let's do it. Whatever. Okay, next question is. Oh. <laughs> this is a good one. Is your sex drive high? Uh, as high, oh. Is your sex drive hot? Ugh! Read that. I can't read. Hey. <laughs> I can't. This is a good one. <laughs> is your sex drive high as you are now pregnant in the first trimester? Okay, so. So basically, they're asking you. Is it as high? Now, uh, well, they're just asking. Is it is it okay, as high as high. it as it when you weren't pregnant? Is okay, it as high first, now? Versus. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. <clears throat> I'll say like the early. The people want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll say early on because I was so sick, it was definitely not high at all. Yeah. At all. Plus, I was taking like vaginal pills um, for the IVF process in the beginning for the the whole first trimester. And for y'all so, that don't know what that is, that's basically taking a pill and then yeah, sticking it in, you know. Yeah, in the in the front. Yeah. So it was just like uncomfortable. Like, obviously, I didn't want something to happen to Brandon because there's a pill in there. And, yeah. yeah. So, um, long story short, it's much better now than it was in the beginning because I was so sick plus the medicine. No. <laughs> I mean, you want to go ahead and cut the camera off? And, uh... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Have you all discussed showing the baby's face? in the level of exposure on social media. We have talked about We that. have talked about that. Um, well, so 
we have talked about it. I don't, we haven't really like fully set in on if we want to, but we've talked about it and we've kind of leaned towards like at times, but it would be like very few just because I don't know. I, we've, we've watched like there's some uh, YouTubers and stuff like that that we watch grow and their kids and stuff like that. And they give the kids the exposure and sometimes the kids necessarily aren't that fond of it, but they do yeah. it. They do it because it becomes what we have to get. You know, we have to keep it up. Yeah, once you do it, you gotta keep it up. They want the fan, now all of a sudden, they want the family content, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, we've talked about it. We still, we're still undecided on it, but we're kind of leaning towards, we'll show Pom Pom at times. Yeah, very minimal. Like, it's certainly not gonna be a secret, and we're not gonna be, like, blurring out the face. Yeah. Like, we're not gonna go to those extremes. Yeah. Uh, because I think those are a little... <clears throat> Kind of annoying, but um, some people some people do it all the time, and we're not. I mean, that's perfect. Yeah, it's fine. totally it's it, totally cool. Yeah, like we have yeah. friends that they have their kids on the internet twenty four seven, and we yeah. also have friends that would not let the internet see the light of day for their kids. Um, so you know, we don't judge anyone for any decision that they make. Mm -hmm. And actually, what's funny is prior to actually to us actually having a platform, I would not care if my kid was on social media. Um, but I noticed like, I'm just a little bit more protective of kids now. Yeah. Like just having a platform, knowing what people say about children and mm -hmm. knowing now how some children feel about being on, cam <clears throat> being on camera. And um, like I noticed even when we had my niece here, I just was protective of her. Like, I don't want, I just, you know, I don't know. Yeah. It's just, maybe it's like the, like, deep down motherly type of instinct, protective instinct in me. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's definitely not going to be a secret. And who knows? Like, once baby gets here, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to be plastering the face everywhere. Who knows? <laughs> well, I just don't see that for me. I don't see us doing that. Like, it's not going to be a freaking photo shoot every week for an update for social media like it's not like i want the kid to be a freaking kid like right. that is my goal for this like i want the kid to be a kid this is our commitment we decided to be on social media right and we're not having a baby for social media right so that says it you know we're gonna keep this up because this is our job and yeah. our commitment yeah for sure and i don't want to just bring a baby in to be forced to be suited and booted all the time for the internet it's just not gonna happen i second that Whew. okay um a couple more when are we starting nursery decor mm. That's well, see, I, you know, so I've been thinking about it and, you know, I've been <laughs> kind of looking around and stuff. I'm thinking I'm, no. I'm just... Yeah, I'm like, what have you been looking at? Because you ain't showing me nothing. <laughs> um, I'm still trying to come up with the style and design that I want. I know the colors that I want to use. Um, and no, it's not going to be neutrals. For the room <laughs> i know that people are probably thinking that but baby's room is going to have some color okay i promise you that um probably the only room in the house but <laughs> that's what i want i want color in the nursery yeah um so soon really soon actually i'll probably start maybe Dang, in the next... so probably what's this february yeah probably need to kick in it the in the next... gear like in march yeah like the next three Two, three weeks. I would say, yeah. I would say we'll yeah. probably kick it off and start start really looking and getting an idea probably yeah. in March. Yeah. Well, I want to say I'm going to start moving and actually in, in that time. Oh, so gonna, okay. I'm, gonna be, I'm starting to prepare like now. Got you. But, okay. Um, yeah. So we'll, sh I mean, like y'all are, are going to come, come along for yeah, all for sure. that. And you know, this girl right here, she's a, she is a beast when it comes to decor. Wait. So yeah. I, I Hey, look, I'm her husband. I'm a fan. I'm like, what you about to come up with? Because I can't wait for this, you know? <laughs> and um, I have, I don't know, because I know that um, there are some companies that, like, I think Pottery Barn, they 
do like a lot of helping people like design their nurseries and stuff like that. So I haven't decided if I want to fully do it myself or if I want to um, like collab with someone. So I don't know. So there's so much to still figure out there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a good question because I was worried about this at first. So someone asked, did I have implantation bleeding? And I did not. I have not bled at all. Thank you, Jesus. Let's continue that in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> um, no implantation bleeding, no bleeding whatsoever. So super grateful and thankful for that. But I do know a lot, like most of my friends, they did have it. And I've heard a lot of people that have had it. It's totally normal. But I did not and everything has been perfectly fine. <clears throat> oh, good one. Will you and Brandon be going on a baby moon? Man, we was just, <laughs> wow. We was just talking about that. And yes, we will be doing a baby moon. We haven't decided the location yet. Um, I, I've been doing some research and kind of looking up some places. Um, but yes, we will be doing one when in like probably May -ish. May -ish. Yeah, yeah, I think in Mayish. Yeah, but we got, but we got it. So. We got to make sure we go somewhere like close because, you know, we we would love to go somewhere that's like a long way away, but she can't be on the plane for like 12 and 13 hours flying. Yeah. So, so we're trying to find somewhere where it's, it's like where we haven't been. Right. But it's close. But it's like a five, four or five hour flight you yeah. know, at the most, you know, so uh, we'll let y'all know once we come up with it. But for now, we're, we're definitely researching and looking. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many more you want to do? Like three? We'll do, we'll do like three more, yeah. Okay. What birth plan do you have in mind? What is that? Um, some people say like water birth or oh. hospital or... Um, oh, okay, okay. So I definitely want to do it in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And I do want a doula though, so... What is that? A doula is basically like a birthing coach. So like they help you learn how to do your breathing correctly. Oh, got you. Okay. They help you like different techniques to push. I mean, I can show you that. I think moral support and even like after birth, they like help you and check on the baby or something. I don't know, but mm, okay. I've heard really good things about them and I think I wanna do that. I, it's funny because remember I used to want a water birth? Yeah. And now I'm like, yeah, no. No. Mm -mm. I would prefer to just be in a hospital. Like I don't mind hospitals. That's fine. Hey, we could be. Hey, look, we could be in the hospital because I'm. <laughs> hey, look, I'm gonna be right there with her. Yeah. Watching pom pom come out that womb. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> oh, I love this question. Okay, would you have done anything differently as far as career, marriage, and preparing for pom pom? Are you, is she asking? She's asking you or me? I think both of us. So I, I'll start. Okay. Um, you know what's so crazy? I feel like it all happened exactly the way it was supposed to happen. Like we literally met, we got married, we uh, paid out of, like we paid debt off, we bought a house, we traveled, we had fun. Yeah. And I say past tense because like, but we're not done traveling, but like we have been around the world and we really prioritized that for all the years we've been together. Yeah. So it's kind of like we really got to like have all the fun and get the business taken care of, start businesses. And it's just like perfect. It's perfect timing for the baby. Yeah. yeah. So I wouldn't have changed anything. I would, well, the only thing I would change is not having to go through fertility, but it was our story. No, um, yeah, I, I, I don't think I would have changed anything either. I think, I think the only thing for me is, is I think that if I had to do all over again, I probably would have tapped into, and I'm not, and, and she's right, like stuff happened the way it was supposed to happen. So I don't really want to make it seem like I'm not um, thankful and grateful, but I, I probably would have tapped into what we're doing early on. So mm -hmm. as far as like what we got going on as far as our business and social media and things like that, mm -hmm. 
if I had to do it all over again, we probably would have started though. I probably would have mm -hmm. started though sooner. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that. even though it's weird because we were we started it kind of soon. Like we had only been together for what like eight months before we started. Mm -mm. Or was no, it we we got together in eighteen and we started oh, social media like twenty twenty for COVID. Oh okay, so maybe a little bit sooner. But I but you know what's funny? I think it was like perfect timing though because like we still needed to see if. You know, we were gonna make it. Yeah, but that, but I think I think I think but what she's asking is from a hindsight. Oh yeah. Like if oh yeah, like knowing what we know now. Knowing what we know now. Absolutely. Definitely yeah. would have kicked it off earlier than we For did. For sure. So how is sleeping during pregnancy? Is it manageable or uncomfortable? <laughs> so honestly, it's okay right now. The only thing that's really, really, really annoying is having to pee like every three hours. Mm. Like my sleep is broken. Do you, are you woken up every time? Mm -mm. No. How many uh, times do you think you hear me? I mean, I hear you cause I'm a light sleeper, but I don't. It doesn't like mess up your sleep. No, it doesn't mess up my sleep. I think the only thing is, is like, it's funny cause I think like, sometimes we get up at the same time to go to the bathroom, <laughs> which is crazy. Like. She'll get up and then I'll get up. She'll go to one bathroom. I'll go to another bathroom, which is crazy. But um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, it doesn't bother me that you get up. I, I guess I'm just kind of used to it, you know? Yeah. But I'm a very light sleeper. Oh like, gosh. Brandon could wake up over a feather yeah. dropping on his pillow. Yeah. Very light sleeper. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like sometimes I'll get up and he's like, huh, what, what? And it scares me and I'm like, <laughs> Because oh my when gosh. she gets up, I, I want to make sure she's okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'll be like, you good? What's up? Everything yeah. all right? You know? Like, Just going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I at night for some reason it's like I pee way more often um, than during the day. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, this kid knows that I'm trying to get some sleep. <laughs> but it's funny because it's kind of like preparation for when the baby gets here because you have to wake up every couple of hours. We're going to be waking then. up a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. So. But um, that's pretty much it. As far as like actual comfort wise, I'm fine right now. I'll probably look into a body pillow soon. They say you should get one. But Do you yeah. think that... So let me ask you this, okay? This, because this is something I've always wanted to know, or mm -hmm. since this is all been. Do you think that the comfortability when you sleep comes from being in like your husband's arms, steel, arms of steel, like when I'm <laughs> holding you at night? So it used to be. Nah. Pre-pregnancy. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And now what? But now I notice that I find more space comfortable. I know. She I like, know, babe. She'd be like, <laughs> I'm hot, I'm hot. Yeah, because Brandon is so hot at night. It's like, dude, it's like steam coming off his body. But it was funny is before pregnancy, I loved it. Like I wanted to be close and snuggled up. But now I'm just like, I enjoy just moving a little inch and feeling a cool spot in the bed. Like I just want everything like really cool. It's so weird, but yeah. But then, but then when she ready for me to hold her, oh, hold me. Yeah. And she'll do that little thing where she'll scoot her booty kind of like, <laughs> you know, over to make sure she touches me. So, so that's my cue when she does that to know that, okay, I need to hold her at this yeah. point. Which is normally when, um, cause I have to wake up every morning at, by like 7.30 or something like that to eat. Yeah. But then I have to get back in bed and that kind of like comforts me to get back, you know, warm and cozy and back to sleep. Yeah. But yeah. All right, so I got one. Okay, so I got one last question that somebody asked that okay. about twins. Ooh. So somebody said, somebody has said something about, um, you know, I know y'all were talking about twins and stuff and they, I think they asked, Y'all never really spoke on it, so are we having twins? Oh yeah, and because somebody was like, "Is pom pom? Does that mean two yeah. different babies?" I'm like, "No." Is pom pom having a sibling? Um, no. It's are we twins. sure? We're positive, you guys. It's not twins. We are positive. Though it's funny because twins actually run in my family. I have twin sisters, but it's not twins, you guys. I promise we would have said it by now. Um, so that's not the secret that we're holding, I promise. <laughs> but yeah, because some people are like, oh my gosh, you're so big for um, the amount of weeks that you are. And I'm like, 
I can't help how my body is taking this pregnancy, but it's definitely not twins. I can assure you that. <laughs> Which I wish it was because we can kill two birds with one stone. Oh, God. Two birds with one stone. I couldn't imagine. Can you imagine two babies doing somersaults in your stomach? No, <laughs> I can't. Y'all, pregnancy is not for the week. It's different. And I really, really wish that I could make something happen to where no woman had to do it alone because I cannot imagine having to do it alone. Yeah. Like, it is so difficult. It is really like the hardest thing I've ever done and it's just starting still, you know, it's so early on still. Yeah. But it's like the hardest thing ever. Just to hear people say, like sometimes I'll post something and they're like, well, dang, my baby daddy didn't do this and he made my pregnancy horrible. And I'm just like, how could anyone watch someone go through what they're going through and treat them horribly. Yeah, and especially multiple times that they go through it. Like for I, I, I come in and have a respect for all the women out there that's just really yeah. going through it by themselves. Cause I, I mean, I'm not, I obviously I'm a man, but I just could not imagine like it takes, it really has been a team effort. And I know she's doing all the heavy work. That's why I made it a point that anything she needs any type of support system I can be for her, I'm gonna be it to the fullest extent that I can do it. Because yeah. you just, I, I just don't know how she's doing it. I, I really don't. I, yeah, it's so tough, dude. It <laughs> is like, the, it's uh, it's unexplainably like so hard. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for all of the questions. We coming back with part two. Actually, if y'all get this to 500 likes, <laughs> if y'all get this to 500 likes, we're gonna come back with part two. Yes, and leave us some more questions in the comment section. If we didn't answer it, um, we'll answer them in part two. So thank you guys for participating. We out. And we'll see you in the next one.